Hello, I'm Professor Matthew Collis, the Director of the Research School of Astronomy and Astrophysics here at the Australian National University. And I'm Patrick McCarthy, the Project Director for the Giant Magellan Telescope. So Pat, we've got a picture of the Giant Magellan Telescope here on the screen behind us. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. The GMT will be the largest astronomical telescope on the Earth. It's 25 meters in diameter and will build up its collecting area by combining seven of the largest mirrors that can be made today. Each of those is eight and a half meters in diameter. And what sort of science are we hoping to do with the GMT? We want to do many things, but in particular we want to explore planets around nearby stars and ask, could they actually sustain life? Do they have conditions in their atmospheres that are conducive to the formation of life? Then we want to use the telescope to look further afield, to measure the masses of black holes, and perhaps to look all the way back, almost to the Big Bang, to see the first stars and galaxies. So we're seeing some images here of the telescope firing lasers up through the atmosphere. What's that about? The lasers allow us to make artificial stars anywhere in the sky so that we can sense and correct distortions caused by the Earth's atmosphere and restore the telescope to its full maximum angular resolving power. What are the contributions that Australia and the Australian National University in particular are making to the GMT? Scientists at the ANU are designing and will build one of the core scientific instruments. It will allow us to measure the masses of galaxies, explore young stars, look at black holes, and in particular, look for planets around nearby stars. In addition, Australia is producing the laser system and the control system that will allow us to do this adaptive optics anywhere in the sky and make images that are ten times sharper those than those of the Hubble Space Telescope. And where is the GMT going to be located and when do we hope to have first light with the telescope? Well, if you're going to build the world's best telescope, you should put it at the best place on the planet to do astronomy. And that's in the Chilean Andes at the bottom of the great Atacama Desert. It's a place where the skies are dark, the weather is dry, and the images are incredibly sharp. And around 2020, we'll start to put the telescope together. We'll put it in its 12 stories tall enclosure, and at night, we'll open the dome and look out to the heavens, and perhaps all the way back to the earliest days of the universe. The ANU is incredibly excited to be involved in this enormous project, and we look forward very much to using this telescope in future.